Excuse me. Hey babies, I know, I know. I moved closer, I know. I wish I could show everybody what you were doing before. I know, you're all rubbing your bellies on the tarp. You're lying down on the tarp. Very cute. So they're not getting a morning feed anymore, just an afternoon feed. I let them go out and forage. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I probably should check. That was Kramer. Kramer on the right, Jerry on the left, um, Elaine in front of George, George at the back. I think um, Kramer's like older than the others and Elaine and George are probably the youngest because they're all hatched, I think, within a week or something of each other. <laughs> Look at you guys. You're so cute. You're so cute. I know. And the cats want to get out, and I know. No, they're not coming out. No, no. They're looking forward to meeting you, that's for sure. Hi babies. Hi babies. Hi babies. Should we tell everybody that there was a leech and Kramer was pecking right up to the leech and then it was kept getting attached to George's feathers like it was seen to be going on and off George's feathers. He was brushing it and then I can't remember but one of them stood on it and I don't know if the leech is on the bottom of their foot but that's not very good guys. You're supposed to be eating the leeches. Yes. Eat, eat, peck, peck. It was cute because they're in their cage and um, I'd opened it. I went back out to spend some time with them and um, they were still in it, like but right at the doorway and they were just pecking away. And So I came and I sat down sort of, I don't know, a bit further than I am from them now, like maybe two metres away. And so they came out towards me and they came over to me and then they went and they were sunbathing on the tarp. I think they felt better having me there, like a protector. I don't think they mind the horses either. They just don't want to get close up to them, but more eyes, you know. And I think that's why they ran away when the horses left yesterday because it was like, oh. It was while Banjo was standing there. It's like protection from up high. Hey. You so beautiful. Like they've moved closer to me now. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's Jerry. He's got a lot more white on him. Hey no, I'm talking to you. I'm talking about you. To total strangers and some friends. Yeah, I know. I know, because you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. And you've got some more flock mates. Hopefully you'll become one flock. And they're only tiny, weeny, weeny babies, I know. And you're going to have some chicken friends too. The more eyes, the better, hey? I just had to check if I've got leeches on me. I don't trust them. It's so wet here. I'm standing exactly where we found the death adder that day. So they keep coming up to this area, which is fantastic. And I think the death adder was going between here and up in the back of the grass. I don't know if it still comes down here. It might not lately because of the rain. I'm just hoping it goes from around, right, you know, just around the cabins. You hear the cats, because I haven't gone and fed them. If you can wait, it's not gonna hurt them. I know, I know you want to come out and it's a beautiful day, but I think you'll kill my birds. <coughs> I 
No, I know, it's sad, he can hear my voice. And I, they know that you guys are there and they're probably thinking, what can I do? I've been told that once they're big enough and the same with the ducks and the chickens, and the chickens will have a rooster, that the cats won't be a problem. Because the cats aren't going to take anything on that can stuff them up. You're all so cute, sitting there. <laughs> In, enjoying resting. I think they like because it's so been so wet. They're enjoying just kind of lying down. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're so cute. They know. Kramer's standing up. Jerry's at the top, and that's. Hang on. Sometimes I have trouble with Elaine and George. Ah. Uh... That's Elaine on the left and George on the right. I can actually tell them more apart. Yeah, that's Elaine on the left, yeah. I need to see Elaine side on and then I know it's Elaine. It's, it's funny because it's like I look at George and I think, is that Elaine? And it's always George. But when I look at Elaine and she turns side on, I go, oh, yeah, that's Elaine. So I should realise that when it's, if I think it's George, if I think it's George, it's George. Because when it's Elaine, I know it's Elaine. Or if I think it's Elaine, but not sure, it's usually George. <laughs> look at look at Jerry. I think they're just enjoying the warmth and the dirt that they can lie on without. Because their coop's been, or coop or roost, or I call it a roost really, because they go up high. You know, but they haven't really been able to do this on the ground for weeks. Have you? And you used to have your cardboard box that you used to love hiding behind and sitting on. And your little nest that I made you. Yeah, and you'd hop in the nest sometimes. And now they're getting closer and closer to me. This is going to be a long video. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. I'll ask Auntie Tiff if if it's okay not to feed you in the mornings and that you come out and go roaming and hunting. God, I don't want to starve you. I give them a lot of food at night and they eat it all. I could hear another bird too then. I know. I know, what is that bird? I can hear it too. Because it's coming from a different direction to all the other, all the other birds are coming up. Coming up from behind, uh, behind them, into the sides of them, and this bird's coming up in the total opposite direction. Off you go. Off you go. Now, um, my mum was asking me about this wire from videos and it was rolled up and um, I think it was Elaine, I can't remember which one. It was so traumatic when Slinky attacked them, she was hiding in the roll. And so what I did is I, she got out, but I've deliberately unrolled it all and they go through it and it's, it's actually, that's all just like one big cut and although it's not the best, it just gives them a little hidey hole away from their um, cages back there. So that's, we've got to go to the tip, there's also. So that gives them a little place, a little hidey hole of safety from aerial predators or just any kind of predator. I've left it there intentionally. And then here with the cabin, where I'm standing, there's a chair if they want to go under, and there's also the grass. Hey guys, you coming back? I know, you got spooked by that bird talking, didn't you? You're like, what's that bird doing? I know, you can be brave. Come on, guys. That's Kramer at the front. Because he or she's a bit older than everyone else. And I think Kramer might be a girl, actually. <laughs> That's Jerry. Jerry's sort of kind of like, I've got a soft spot for Jerry. <laughs> she just looks big. See, they went through the, their little um, tube and... Once again, yeah, I think that was Elaine that was at the front and she's gone back to George. 
I do find them very hard to, and I've been joking with um, the breeder who I, I got them from and who I'm getting the other birds from. I said, I'm going to have trouble <laughs> telling Dan apart, but I can't help it. I feel bad if I can't tell them apart. Oh, I love birdies. Oh my goodness. Are you going? <laughs> oh, he... oh. I'm going to show Auntie Lynn this because she said now these are the babies see they're just a little bit younger so it doesn't surprise me because they might be up to a week younger they're about 10 weeks and up there Kramer must be 11 weeks and Jerry must be I reckon you know closer to 11 than 10 just judging by their sizes this is from when I, when I got them I was told they were five to six weeks you're so clever. Yes. I'm going to tell Auntie Sophia that you're on her cabin. Yes. Oh, I love them so much. It's okay, babies. You'll be... And there's ladders and things they can get under here, behind here. And under the little safe places. It's okay. You'll come down. You'll, you'll get up there. I mean, you'll come down. You'll get up there one day. You'll be able to get up there one day. Oh. Oh, look at that. Hello, <laughs> no, beautiful. Yay! Sorry, I'm not a good filmer. I'm glad I kept it on. It's been exciting. I will take a video of them uh, lying on the turf and rub like they're, like they're lying on the gravel here, but they're rubbing themselves around. It's like they're bathing on it. They need a dry sand pit. I think they'll love it. I think it's just a way of grooming and enjoyed it. They were lying down and their little legs were behind them. Hey babies, you did so good, didn't you? You did so good. Hey. So brave. I know. You're coming back to your human. I know. I know. When you have a big adventure, it's good to be near your human. To give you an idea, I'm just there. Sort of like an arm's length away from them. Yeah, you're so cute. But they're, they're not like this with other humans. They won't. They'll come right up to me when I'm sitting down and um, they don't let me touch them. But I think they kind of don't mind having me around. If I'm not, if I'm quiet and just, I mean, I'm talking, but I'm continually talking at the same level. But if I'm, so if I'm just doing the same thing, constant not making any sudden moves I think they kind of have a security with me around that's the feeling I get I, I go with my intuition with the animals and their behavior because I find that sometimes when they're scared and then I'm I'll come and I'll sit with them they get braver and sometimes when they're when they're scared and I come and sit with them one of the dogs just cried um, <clears throat> I'll um, they'll they'll get adventurous by coming to me first and then go off so it's not like i'm a human guinea fowl for them can't trust me but kind of can <laughs> oh, i'm so proud of them look at them they're going in the grass and i'm so glad that the um brumbies have kept that grass down they've really gone into that grass and put activity through it There's another birdie warning them. So, lots of sights and sounds. I've got to admit, I do feel a bit more creepy standing here since I know the death that it comes through here. But it is daytime and it's asleep, but it could be frigging anywhere. And I think they're a bit young to encounter a death adder, so I'm very glad that, um, you know, it's had some activity up there because it's where I am now, all the way up there and around the side of the cabin, the other side, but I don't think it's been going down. They've gone like, yeah, I can see them, but I think he's, the death out is, well, she or she's been coming between here and up there um, because there's plenty of water here so it doesn't have to take that other route down to the creek, which I'm happy with. I, I want it to be safe, but I want us to be safe too because we've got dogs and everything. It would be not good for, for having to go right down to the creek to get water. I can't see them anymore. <laughs>
Oh, it's a big day. I don't want to walk that. It's really muddy and wet. Okay, babies. <laughs> Can you hear them? And their go-to safe place is outside. I've got windows on both sides of my cabin. Is where my desk is. So it's where I sit during the day. They'll be often, when they first started going out and they first left the, the actual pen area, they came around to where that window was and I saw I was sitting there on the other side. And they peck at the cabin sometimes. Wow. I wonder how long I should hold on for. Oh, God. Should I be... No, I'm not going to peck it, are I? No. It's too slippery and muddy and I'm wearing Crocs and... I can see it moving. Because you could probably see it if I was directly underneath. Yeah, I can see, you can see the bush moving. So uh, if anyone is watching this now, and probably only my mum, kudos, leave a comment if you watch to the end, because I just, you, you'll get a sticker or something. I don't know, I'll give you a prize like a love heart. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.